He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Yes, yeah, screaming at him while he's fucking worry, connected to a shitload of C4. Uh, no, no, don't touch it. How the fuck can he see it? It's everywhere. That snake was gonna be like, man, fuck this. Dink. Boom. We fucking destroyed that guy. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. Yes. And you. Special operations, Foxhound. Now hopefully I can beat him the way I used to. Revolver even with this analog stick. So I, had, I used to have a really good strategy of beating this guy. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. Draw! This is the greatest handgun ever made. That's like the one line I remember. Draw! And then, oh, my arm! Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. And yet you still suck dick even in the fourth one. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Drow. Draw. Draw. Hiding won't help you. Shit. I understand the bullet you I make them go where I want. Alright. Oh shit. Well, I used to have a pretty good strategy, but I don't remember him fucking. I almost shot the. I love to reload during a battle. Alright, I'm alive. Let's go. I need help. Fuck, man. Hiss him around the hidey hole. Gotta reload, asshole. The old man's not gonna last too long. Fuck. Don't you want to settle this? Yes, so quit running away like a pussy. 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 I fucking hate you. you Piss me off. Pussy! I love the smell. Fuck. <laughs> well, he's in the blue. But to you, be the smell. Fuck it. Ah, damn it! <laughs> uh, he juked me. Piece of shit. Those bullets, I'll never. I never really go for. Damn it! Pussy, come back. <laughs> yeah, I know hiding won't help me. Fuck, man. Analog's very sensitive on this. Fuck, man. <laughs> what? Get off the wall. What are you doing, snake? This is, you don't really want to hide in this fight either, because it will bounce those fucking bullets right in your face. Oh man, I gotta beat him. <laughs> I don't want to die on this boss fight, that'd be embarrassing as shit. Come on, Ocelot! God damn it! Ugh, this prolonged exposure. There we go. Oh, damn it. I have one shot on him. Come on. Snake, get off the wall. What are you doing? No. There we go. Fuck you. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! Stealth camouflage. 
Probably one of my favorite characters next to Psycho Mantis. He fucking picks up his arm and fires the trigger. Snake's like, what the hell? What the fuck? Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh, you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up. Oh. Quit beating the shit out of me, you fuck. Calm down. Calm down. I just told you I was here to Fucking save Fucking takes you. the cane from him and just beats his brains in. Shut didn't off. kill the DARPA chief. He Good had a grief. heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys. Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Codec. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh. Sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. 
The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been.